In this episode, I'm going to give you seven solid Blancos that are 40% alcohol by volume that I recommend right here on the Tequila Hombre, coming up next. Hello and welcome to this episode of the Tequila Hombre, where today I'm going to give you seven solid Blancos that I recommend that are 40% alcohol by volume and super delicious, super well-made, definitely great tasting tequilas that I know if you pick up, you'll enjoy. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get into it now. All right, the first Blanco is so good. I drank all of the Blanco that I had with me. I don't have a bottle of it right now because I drank it all. It's so good. I can't keep it here. But uh, I'm going to show you what the bottle on the Reposado looks like. Uh, but then, you know, it's the Blanco that we're talking about. But it is a Gila Real. The Blanco is so delicious. It's super rich with, with cooked agave. It's got cinnamon, baking spices, citrus. It's very nice. Super thick and viscous on the mouthfeel. It tastes great. This Reposado is great as well. But we're talking Blancos here today. So if you see the bottle like this of Blanco, uh, grab it. I need to get another one for myself because every time I get a bottle, I drink it all. It's so easy to drink. Um, once you pop the top, you are not gonna wanna stop. So the first option, the first choice, the first selection is the Blanco from Aguila Real out of NOM 1414. The next selection comes out of the, from the Camarena family, the other side, <clears throat> not not Carlos and Felipe, but the other side of the Camarena family. It is Carrera Blanco. It is made right by a family that knows how to make great tequila. So um, this is a Orno cooked agave, crushed into roller mill, fermented in stainless steel tanks, and then distilled in stainless steel pots with copper coils, down to 40% alcohol by volume. Beautiful, beautiful flavor profile on this. Super easy to drink. And the nice thing about this, too, is it's easily available. You can find it at BevMo and Total Wine. Uh, you can find it all over the place. We even have it on Ferment and Still. All of the selections that I that I picked today, you can also you can find all of them on Ferment and Still. If you have a hard time finding them, you can order them online. But the, the next number two selection is Carrera Blanco from the Camarena family in Arandas, Mexico. Number three also comes out of Arandas, and again, out of NOM 1414, the Vanco and Associates Distillery, it is Viva Mexico. This is a fantastic Blanco, super easy to drink, beautiful flavor profile. Um, you can't miss with this one. It's a great mixer. It's also a fantastic sipper. Um, this is my fourth bottle of Viva Mexico that I'm drinking, so it is excellent. I highly recommend it. This one's also very easy to find. We do have it on Ferment and Still, but you can also pick this up at Total Wine as well as other stores throughout the country. So um, if you're looking for a solid Blanco that's very reasonably priced as well, uh, Viva Mexico might be a great choice for you. The next Blanco I'm gonna to present to you um, used to be done by Felipe Camarena, but it's recently changed distilleries and it's actually not bad. It's actually quite good. It is the new Pesote out of NOM 1584. Um, it is very tasty, super rich in flavor, um, amazing cooked agave taste to it, some fruit that follows, um, really easy to drink, well-balanced Blanco, highly recommend it. So if you um, would like to try the new Pesote, I definitely recommend it. It did not get worse with the NOM change. Um, I actually think it might have gotten a little more flavorful. So there you go. Uh, number four is Pesote out of NOM 1584. All right, the fifth Blanco in this list comes also from Arandas, Mexico, and master tequilero David Rivandi, who also does the one, two, or three organic brand. It is El Luchador Blanco. Now, this is the new version out of NOM 1517, and it is an amazing Blanco, super rich in agave flavor. A uh, little bit of fruit mixed in there as well. Really well balanced, really easy to drink. Um, would also be a great mixer as well as a sipper. Highly recommend it. If you see it, you can find it in Total Wine as well as a bunch of stores now. It's readily available, or you can also pick it up on Ferment and Still. Uh, that, again, is El Luchador. 
uh, Tequila Blanco. The sixth Blanco I'd recommend also comes out of NOM 1414. It is a beautiful Blanco called Yayo. It is a fantastic Blanco, super easy to drink, <coughs> wonderful cooked agave flavor, really crisp and clean, makes great cocktails, or is an amazing sipper as well. You can't go wrong if you pick up a bottle of Yayo. Last but not least is another tequila from the Galindo family, uh, but this one's a little different in that it's getting harder and harder to find because unfortunately the owner of this brand tragically died and so the brand is no longer being imported into the US. Uh, so you can still find it in some stores. I know we have like three or four bottles left on ferment and still, and then it's done, it's gone. So if you find it, grab it, it is amazing. It is the Galindo Organic Blanco. This is a fantastic Blanco. It has a really neat chocolate note that comes uh, from the processes they use. It is pure organic. There's no additives. It's made right. A beautiful Blanco. I highly recommend grabbing a bottle if you can find it. Um, if you are so inclined to order from Fermented Still, we do have a few bottles left. I keep six bottles here and just so I know I have got it to drink for a while. So the last number seven Blanco I recommend, a little harder to find, but it's super great tasting, and that is the Galinda Organic Blanco. Well, there you go, seven Blancos that I recommend. Now, they're not in any particular order or favorite or anything like that. They're just randomly ordered, but there's seven Blancos that I highly recommend that are 40% alcohol by volume. Now, uh, as a little disclaimer, I was not paid to include any of these in this video. These are strictly my unbiased opinion. And if you agree with them, great. If you don't, comment below, let me know. Anyway, either way, I'd love to hear if you agree or if you don't disagree, um, make sure you comment below, let me know. If you like the information I shared in this video, make sure you, you click the like button. And if you're new, welcome to the Tequila Hombre channel and make sure you click the subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so you're notified anytime a new video comes on or I come live so you can get some more great agave spirit information. And like I always say, life is too short to drink bad tequila. So try any of the Blancos on this list and I'm sure you'll find one you like. Salute.